Hey guys, Dan here from TechSecurityReviews.com. Today I just wanted to show you uh, how to use the Parental Controls module that comes with Kaspersky's Internet Security software. Uh, you also get this with Kaspersky Total Security as well. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at it. So you'll see here we've got the uh, Kaspersky main window uh, interface here. Uh, from here we can run our scans, do updates. Uh, we've also <coughs> got the ability to uh, jump straight into our online account through my Kaspersky. And we've also got here the parental controls module. So if we click into parental controls, you'll see um, the first time you run it, you'll be offered to create a password. Now, it says here, before we get started, we advise you create a password to prevent others from changing parental control settings. So basically if you don't set a password here, if you set parental controls on someone else's account, uh, they could jump on and actually change their own control settings. So basically you want to set a password here to ensure they can't do that. So we'll just set one now. Okay. And oh, password strength, passwords don't match. Okay, let's try that again. That's kind of cool. Okay, continue. All right, so now it prompts us for the password our new password and now we can see the parental controls interface so you'll see the user accounts on your computer listed here I've only got two uh, Dan is mine and Haley is my other account so I'm going to set some restrictions over here on Haley's account by turning the control to enabled you'll see it go green and now we can configure our restrictions Okay, so there's four main uh, control settings here. There's the computer, so that means you can restrict the user from actually logging on or using the computer. Applications, so you can block um, certain games and things like that. Um, you can block internet usage, and you can also block downloads as a part of that, and you can also just block uh, content control so you can block uh, data being transferred to third party so let's start up here at computer alright so first thing we can do we can set either on weekdays or weekends just a block on actually logging into the computer so if the user tries to log in it'll let them log in initially and it'll stay logged in for one minute and then it will automatically log them out So you can set that from times, you might have it from say 10pm to 6am or something like that on weekdays. And you can also set time breaks here. So this is not a specific block, but you can just make it so um, you can take a break every hour for 15 minutes, which means every hour it will log you out for 15 minutes. This is actually a cool tool for... Um, if you actually want to get in the habit of just taking a break as well, you can set this on your own account and then you'll be forced to take a break. So as a mini life hack for you. You can also um, have a look at the exact usage time for the user. So this will show you a sort of a weekly calendar for when they can and can't use the computer. Looking now at the Applications tab, we can block, this is for games, so you can block games um, here, restrict, uh, and these are ratings, so the uh, most newer games have these ratings linked, and you can actually uh, restrict games being started by your kids if they're obviously not um, at the right age to be playing those.
and you can select your different rating system here as well to to uh, link up to the section up here. Internet blockage, so you can also restrict by hours per day on the internet. Um, so you might restrict on weekdays, four hours per day on the computer, on the internet, and on weekends, say six hours on the internet. Now that is obviously just the internet, so you can still use the computer, you just can't use the internet. Safe search uh, will be always enabled here by default. And you can also block access to specific categories of websites. So you'll see here there's adult content, violence, uh, there's a whole list of things that um, you can block. And you can also block file downloading. So um, maybe you want to stop someone from downloading a video and archives. So that's archives of zip files, things like that, which can potentially have uh, some dangerous items in them. And the last one here is content control. So this is handy if you just want to block third party data, uh, data being sent to any third parties completely. You just hit this here, it'll stop things like addresses, um, bank card numbers, any confidential information basically won't be sent to third parties. So that's handy and you can also uh, stop keywords being used in messages and web forms. So if you wanted to block, let me bring this up here, and edit the list of keywords, and you can add these here. So you could add a particular word that you don't want to be used, say dog and cat, they wouldn't be able to be used now in any um, messages or forms online. Now that is a custom setting, so we're on custom restrictions here, but you can also just use the pre-created uh, profiles. So you can just press on one of these and it will automatically set the profile to that for that person. So you might have a young child, four plus, so this, if you select this one, it says child profile, collects data on users actions, blocks attempts to visit unwanted websites and download any files from the internet basically. Teenager, so 12 plus, collects data on users, actually blocks attempts to visit unwanted websites. So you can download files there, they're all a little bit different, or you can just uh, set your own like we did. So that's basically it for Kaspersky uh, parental controls. It's really easy to set up and it's uh, really handy to have, especially if you're trying to control your uh, children's usage of internet and, and computer. Um, it really comes in handy. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.